Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. This is alternate number three using elements from the January 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit called Lovely Lavender. Uh, with this one, I'm bringing in a uh, berry burst <laughs> card base um, and I've cut up one of the card fronts and these pieces are three and a half by three quarters. And I've got six of them that I'm going to put across the front of the card. Now, when I first lined them up, I thought it looks a little bit plain. So I played with some different ideas and I had a scrap of the berry burst left. It's five by one and three quarters. And I just stamped the um, leaves on it in berry burst. So it's tone on tone. And that's going to go in the middle on the background. I've pulled in the thank you very much from the timeless arrangements. So we've got the thank you and then very much. And I played with some different ideas of how to put it together. Uh, and I think I've landed on, uh, which one did I land on? This one, but I have to be really, really careful how I stamp it. So that's the one we're going to use. Uh, so I'm just going to flat mount this and it's going to go pretty much in the middle of the card front. Just going to line that up so that I'm straight and I'm in the middle. There we go. And then I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to lay them across. So I'm just going to set them out to start with. Um, and I want to wiggle them around. All, it, all the background does is it just adds that little bit of interest and stops the card from being really, really plain. So these are in the same order I cut them out. So if you put them back together, you can see the pattern matches. You can do this with different colored pieces. You can do it with um, uh, the same piece and just mix them up. Okay, so I'm going to have that one there and that one there. So I just need to wiggle the ones in the middle. But I'm just going to put a line of adhesive on the back of each one. You could dimensionalize these as well if you wanted to. Um, not my plan, but I'm going to pop that one down like that. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this one. So I've got my first kind of first and last ones all kind of lined up and even. So I need to pull this one in a little bit and that one can go right there. So then I just need to take these and I need to space them out in a way that evens them up. And I might need just to use my pokey tool to do that. So let's just even these out. That looks pretty good. Okay, so then I'm going to pull this one out and then add it back in. like that then this one you don't really see a lot of the pattern in the background uh, but it's just there it's just a little bit you can just see it kind of kind of joins everything together in the background you could do the whole background with the stamping or just a piece of it really it's whatever you would like to do and then we put the last one in like that. So we've just got that little bit kind of linking everything together in the background. Now let's see if I can get this stamp, the greeting stamped um, in a way that actually works. So we're going to pop the thank you really towards the top like that. And then we're going to take the very much and we're going to tuck it in at the bottom like that. And I'm a little crooked, so I'm gonna try it again. Paper has two sides and we use both sides. So this one goes in quite close to the top. And then this one is going to come in like that. That's better, except I missed the top of the 
I don't think I'm going to be able to line this back up again, but let's just try. <laughs> oh, it's better to be lucky than good. So I've got my greeting, which I am going to dimensionalize onto the card. And here we go. I'll peel those off and pop that down like that. So it's kind of equal on each end. Uh, and I don't want to keep hitting everything with the um, rinds or the uh, shimmer dots. So I think I'm just going to grab the rhinestones for this one. I think it needs just a little bit of bling. So we're going to get out some bling. And we're just going to take some of these little ones. We're going to pop one down like that. Pop one up here like this. And then we can pop a couple into the card itself. Where's the other ones there? So let's pop that one there. And maybe one a little higher up, kind of in the middle like that. So there we go. There is our uh, alternate card using elements from the January 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit, along with the greeting from Timeless Arrangements. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more alternates.